So in my second video I, I covered equipment uh, and, and doing some piping in our plant models and just briefly touched on structure. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is, is talk a little bit more about that. Uh, inside Plant 3D obviously we are building a plant and we can do just some basic structure. Uh, we're not uh, too concerned about connections, um, obviously you know welds or bolts or plates or any of that. As, as a piping sort of program we just want to do um, the, the basics just so we know where the restructure where we're not going to run into into our pipe and, and uh, steel work together. Um, so what I've got here I've got a couple grids so I've, do, I've done a pipe rack heading in the east-west direction now I'm going to do one in the north-south. So what I've done I've, I've just placed a grid here. Uh, I'm just going to switch over to wireframe and I'm just going to copy um, some of these columns over. So I'm just going to use normal AutoCAD commands. We're not doing anything special here. Uh, so I'm just going to copy from end to end and then bring it around and copy these over around. Uh, we do have Australian members in here. They do not come by default but you can download them from our Plan Exchange website. So I've got my columns in here and now I want to place some members over. So I'm just going to click on the member uh, command and then type in S for settings and then I can even say match property so give me all of those properties so it's a 200 UB uh, and I want to do it um, from the top insertion so I'm just going to run from end to end to end and just go around and follow my, my grid lines here. And then let's come across to the end of that. Okay, so now we've got some members there. And I'm just going to again use normal AutoCAD copy commands to copy that from that top level there. So from end, and then copy that down as well. So it looks like I've just missed a couple beams here, so I'll do the same. I'll just place M for member, S for settings, make sure maybe that I'm matching with the same properties again, which is fine. And then go end to end again for there. And then I can just do the same, copy that down from the end of the grid. down and then what we'll do is just copy that from that grid and copy it over to that grid there. So now we've got our, our finished pipe rack. So within Plan 3D 2016 now we can convert um, via our own XML file. So in 2015 this used to be an SDNF export, now it's called the Advanced Steel XML export. So I just give it an output file, I'm going to stick it on my desktop and call it Plant 3D Demo. I'm going to select, so I'm just going to do a selection of that pipe rack Okay, those two pipe racks there. Go OK and then go export. So now we have our Plant 3D structure exported out to an advanced steel file format. So what I'm going to do now is load uh, advanced steel. Now inside advanced steel with 2016 uh, we can obviously um, import that same XML file, so we do have different import options. We can still do SDNF, we can do CIS2, uh, we can do IFC, but uh, I guess the new feature that I want to show is importing um, the, the Plant 3D model. So I'm just click, going to click on Import and Export in the Advanced Steel ribbon here, and then I'm going to do Advanced Import. So it's going to ask me for uh, my XML file. Now this dialog box 
will only ever appear once so I'm just going to say give me 200 UB 18.2 so I'm mapping the plant steel to the advanced steel member and also the uh, material so I'm just going to find the right one if you don't have I'll just convert it to steel we can change all those options later also going to make that a 150 UC 37.2 and there is our plant structure done and converted and brought into advanced steel proper so what I'm going to do is essentially save this model save it to my desktop and then inside it plant 3d I'm going to import it so you can see I've already got one here under my my plant structure so I'm not going to go into too much detail in regards to, to modifying uh, and creating the connections so I'll just open up the one that I've already done so I'll go back to my um, plant directory structure advanced steel open it up So there's my complete plant structure. Look in parallel. I've got all my connections in here done. Everything is, is true. If I bring up the dialog boxes, then I obviously do have the same members. So if I close that, if I go back into Plant 3D and I open that plant structure inside of Plant 3D, so I still also get all of the properties that come in from advanced steel so the plant users can see the advanced steel properties and then if we xref the two together so inside my um, plant my piping model I'm going to open that up so for here instead of X repping in the plant structure. I am going to attach my advanced steel structure as an overlay, and then I'm just going to unload my plant structure. So if I zoom into one of these models here, you can see that my plant, my designers, my modelers are going to see all of the advanced steel uh, options there.